Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1972 to listen to From the Beginning by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This is only the second song I've heard of theirs, so really excited to check more of them out. Here we go. acoustic guitar is the clear star of this one. Beautiful, beautiful tone. You know, this song might seem simple at first when you listen to it on the surface, but I notice a lot of great ideas going on here musically. Of course, like I said, the acoustic guitar is just glorious. The tone is perfection, and it's just music to the ears, literally soothing to the ears, pleasing to the ears. Um, I noticed a lot of um, panning on the left and right between the percussion and the guitars, and I really appreciate that because it just makes the song fuller and more interesting than just kind of hearing, you know, one sound and one area of the mix, but I um, really like that. Um, speaking of percussion, a lot of great percussion sounds going on here. I'm excited to check out the list of instruments used because I'm hearing some special kind of drums, and uh, it sounds really nice as well, fits the song perfectly few other special moments I noticed here, again with the two guitars. Um, they seem to be bending the notes at certain parts to give it an uneasy feeling, if that makes sense. And I think it's to go with the theme of the song. And I just love when they uh, match the tone of the lyrics uh, with the music itself, you know. They also did it with the bass. I'm sure you know that special moment that we just heard right before I paused. Really, really interesting. It uh, gives it so much additional flavor for a seemingly simple song, but it's really not... Um, and lastly, I'm pretty sure I heard some really cool arpeggios going on with the chords, you know. Instead of just strumming the chord, they do one note at a time, din 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 din. Sounded really interesting. Again, just added to the whole uh, mix, the whole flavor of this song. So really liking this one a lot, you know. I'm getting a very calm, mellow, introspective feeling. I know, again, that's going to be tied with the lyrics, but um, this is the kind of song where you don't even need a synthesizer, you know, because there's so much musically to make it rich enough. I don't know if, I don't think I heard one at all here. I don't know if there's one coming in, but uh, again, it's so satisfying just the way it is. So uh, let's finish it off and see what it has to offer. Kind of a short song at just over four minutes. And, um, you know, I'm so used to hearing these long, epic, you know, eight. 13, 17, 25 minute songs on this channel. And you know, you get kind of used to that and spoiled with that. So when you get a real short one, like four minutes or less, it just goes way too quickly, especially when it's a great one like this. So uh, 
Anyway, I'm sure I'll enjoy the rest. Here we go. You are meant to be Another magic one. Such magic. That was a trifecta of sounds, that last part, or maybe a quad effector. I don't know what the word is for that, but um, okay, I was listening very intently. You know, that synth caught me by surprise. Didn't know if we were going to get one in this song. And there it was, gloriously entering as it should. And um, I don't know, that last section, I was really paying attention. I heard some acoustic on the left, acoustic on the right, and then the synth was above me. And again, a trifecta, but then very distantly, I did hear some electric guitar going on also on the right. So that's four elements, you know, working together perfectly, seamlessly to give this rich, rich listening experience. And I appreciated it fully. I even got a little teary because it was so amazing. So you guys are right from the beginning, had lots of votes and I get it. Yeah, I was definitely focused more on the music here, the instruments. Uh, but I did hear, of course, Greg Lake's amazing voice. Very smooth, uh, very emotional, a lot of feeling, and so pleasing to the ear, very mellow. And of course, I like that kind of voice for sure. It matches the song perfectly. And um, I'll listen to it in editing much, much more, and will appreciate it much, much more. Um, so many elements, you know, before my first pause, was already loving it. And then they added that electric guitar just added another layer, wasn't too overpowering, was just perfection, added to the song perfectly. Um, and then after the break, you know, again, the synth came in more towards the end, I think. It was so unique, very spacey in its sound, kind of experimental here, and it stood apart from the rest of the song completely, yet somehow it fit perfectly with the song. It was just a perfect merge, a perfect melding of sounds. So, so pleasing to the ear. This one really got me as far as the music just the amazing things I was hearing. Um, again, I talked about it earlier, but the guitar tricks going on here, I'll just call them tricks. I know it's more of a technique, but they were so impressive and so, so impactful. I mean, those really grabbed me, you know, those stood out and really grabbed me and made me appreciate the song probably almost twice as more than I already would have. Great, great song. So I'm going to check out the lyrics now. So when reading these lyrics, I just interpret them, you know, as um, a person filled with regret. Um, don't know if it's personal experience from the songwriter, so uh, we'll just go with he here. Um, he's made a lot of mistakes and is living with the consequences now. And it permeates his mind all the time, the mistakes he's made, the regrets he has. 
and wishing he can change things, wishing things could be different. Um, he seems to be very sorry and is longing for forgiveness at this point. And again, it's a universal theme. We've all been through that. We can all relate to that. Um, we all make mistakes and probably most of us have some kind of regrets in life. And again, a deep, deep song, sad, sad song goes with the um, mellow, introspective music that I was talking about, and it all seamlessly fits together perfectly. So I went back and forth for a minute on the rating here, but then I thought to myself, you know, in this song there's just too many amazing and interesting musical elements going on, put together masterfully in a four-minute song, and then you add gorgeous vocals on top of that. So it is clear to me the song deserves the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, From the Beginning, 1972, by the amazing Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Thank you so much for suggesting this, you guys. Really loved it. All right, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about the amazing ELP, this song, or any others that you might love of theirs. Would really appreciate your support down there. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I will see you again next time in the past.